All right, y'all. Thank you for tuning in for another video. Uh, man, y'all been on my case about doing a follow up to that TikTok um, video reaction I did of the girl that got shot by her best friend's uh, brother. So this is a formal part two. The reactions of part two. There is a part three, but the part three really is not is, you know, really isn't worth, in my opinion, doing a reaction to because he's just kind of just just rambling uh, uh along along the line of kind of what happened or whatever um but in part two she she kind of gets a little bit more detail on what happened she shows the actual people that was part of the whole situation and she also um you know she gets a little bit more detailed in, in everything i know a lot of y'all kept saying you know she says she's left-handed and when she's pointing to her face it's the right side of her face or i'm sorry it's the left side of her face but I think what happened is the camera was mirrored. So to us, it looks like she's holding up her left hand to the left side of her face, but she's actually holding her right hand up to the right side of her face. Um, but like I said, in this video, in this rea in this this part two, she kind of gets a little bit more in detail on what happened. She shows the people that were involved, uh, the people that were there. And I... I can't remember or not if she actually shows the boy's mama, but she actually shows the shooter uh, that shot her, shot her in the head. And what the crazy thing is he came to the hospital to check on her, which is crazy. But like she said further on in the video, and as you guys will see, he basically came to the, came to the hospital to, to, to check on her to see if she passed away or not. But I don't know. This is a crazy situation. Uh, again, for everybody that wasn't part of the first video or didn't see the first video, this is about a 15 year old girl that was high off of ecstasy. She was drunk with uh, some of her friends. One of her friends, I think her best friend's brother had a gun that he was playing with. And apparently while they was all high and drunk, the gun went off. She got hit in her head. Um, she almost lost her life. They basically, before even calling 911, they kind of like hid the evidence or came up with the stories of what they were going to tell the police so nobody would get in trouble. So if you guys are not, uh, if you guys are wanting to know or if you want to see the full reaction to the original, the first video, I'm going to leave the link uh, at the top. Of, uh, at the top, you'll see it. You'll see it somewhere up here, but you can check the original video out there and then you can come back to this this video here for the, the part two reaction. But like I said before, I'm not going to do a reaction to the part three because part three, she's just kind of, it's just kind of drawn out a little bit. It's not, it's not really too much, too many details. Uh, she, now she did say her mom had a, a TikTok and, but she didn't drop the name of her mom's TikTok Cause I was kind of curious if her mom spoke up and uh, said any, anything about this, but let's get in part two. Let's, let's get right to it. Okay, y'all, so I'm back. I'm about to go ahead and do... We're going to consider this to be part two of the story, but I'm going to tell the story more in depth this time without protecting anybody. Um, because, like, everybody keeps telling me there's no need for me to try to protect people that didn't give a damn. Yeah, they, they didn't me. care about you. There ain't no point so, in protecting let's them. let's get into it again. Okay, so on the left, that is me. Um, on the right, that is Jessica. I'm going to protect her name. At least, um, now, uh, like she said in the first video, she's not dropping their original names, so she, so these names that she's coming up with are, are not the, the, the correct names or the actual names of the people in the video. It's just what she's saying. She's giving them names to go along with the story, but to also protect who they actually are or, or protect their identity. But I mean, you showing their picture, so you might as well say their name, but that. I don't know. That's that's just me. That's my ex best friend. I was fifteen at the time of this picture. I know I look older than fifteen, but I was definitely fifteen. Um, so yeah, so I spent the night, like I said, I spent the night at her house because my mom told me she was going out of town. My mom was not out of town. Um, we've cleared that base. I I always spent the night at her house. This was nothing new. Um she was that that was like my second home over there. We were very close. Like I mean y'all, we were very, very, very close. I was always she was at my house. I was at her house. We were very close. Cool. So, me being at her house was not out of the normal, okay? 
so this is Jessica and Jerron. Um, this is their mom. This picture actually was taken the night that I was almost unalived. Um, this is their mom. I was very close with their mom. I called her mom. Um, I loved her. She. So if anybody is is confused on who's who, the girl the girl that got shot in the head that's her on the left, and uh, her best friend and the the boy uh, that shot her in her head, the lady, the girl on the right, the woman on the right. That's that's their mom. Yeah. I love her, so um, just wanted to add that in. And like I said, this was taking the night that um, I was almost alive. So this picture was taken took in August 17th at 6.59 p.m. And the reason why I remember all of this, y'all, is because I keep up with everything. I don't delete anything, so I still have all of this in my phone. Um, that's, we're going to call her Marissa, the white girl. Um, and then that's Jerron in the back. And then to the left right here above me, that's Leo. Um, so, yeah. So, these so were the people, Jerron is the one the that, people shot that were in the room. So, it was Jessica, Leo, Marissa, Jerron. And then it was one more person I got to show you guys him. So, we're going to call him. Let's call him Trill. So this is true. We never had anything going on like that. Like I know this picture may look very, you know, mushy, but it was not like that. Uh, we were just very close and cool. He was very sweet. Um, and after everything happened, he would check up on me and stuff like that. But that's true. So now that you guys know who all was in the room, let's get into the other stuff. So, okay. Okay, my TikTok tripping. So it won't let me upload the whole video, but I just want y'all to see this. So these were the stairs that I was coming down. So the blood, of course, was pumping out of the sides of my face um, as I was coming down the stairs. So Jessica took these videos on my phone because she had my phone. Um, I didn't go to the hospital with my phone. So I'm going to show y'all these. Really, I'm going to show y'all one more, and I don't want to show y'all too much because I don't want this to get deleted, and I don't want to make any of y'all sick because this is like, you know, this is very graphic. So this is another view of the stairs. Um, as y'all can see, that's all blood right there. Um, Cause they all ran out the room. I'm trying to run out the room. I don't know what's going on. I didn't hear the gunshot cause it hit me. So I did not hear it. I didn't know. I just seen them that's run. Crazy. So I ran, okay? So when they met me, hold on, let me take this off. Cause I know y'all don't wanna keep looking at it. Okay, so when they met me down at the bottom of the stairs, basically um, they all ran out of the house. I was at the bottom of the stairs. I was, I know, I, I remember I was screaming. I was hollering because I was in a lot of pain. Um, and like I said, thanks to the ecstasy, that's what kept me up and kept me from passing out. That's crazy. So, like she said in the, in the first video, she was high off of ecstasy. And she's saying that her being high and on going off the ecstasy um, is the reason why she lived. Because, because I, um, Cause I looked up like the side effects or or, or what ecstasy does to the body. Cause I've never taken it personally, so I I can't tell you what it does, but I can tell you what I read. But I guess apparently it increases your your heart rate, and it also increases your I think your body temperature. So probably the increase in her heart rate is what saved her. I don't know. I'm not a doctor, but I also th I would think that her having a hole in her head and her heart rate being up, that she would lose blood faster. So I don't know. Maybe she's just making an assumption and we both wrong. But, you know, if anybody is in the health care field or any or know anything about this, let me know if that's if that's what the, the case is in, in, in this situation right here. So um, instantly his mom was like, what the fuck? So she's not realizing. Well, she realized. I, I'm not going to say she's not because I, I, if I realized that I, after a while, like I realized I had got shot in my face, I, I know that she knew it. So it took them a while to call the police, y'all. They tried to hide the gun, clean up the evidence. They tried to clean up my blood, do all of that um, before they called the police. So probably like an hour went by before they actually called the police. So I'm sitting there, I'm hollering like, you shot me, you shot me. Why did you shoot? Like, why you shot me? And he grabbed me. He like, stop saying it, stop saying it. Like, you know, losing his shit. Cause he like, you know, like he already knew it. Everybody already knows how this is about to go. You know what I mean? I know how it's about to go. I just wanted them to call. Them. I'm steady telling them, call my mama. Call my mama. They refused to call my mama. Like they really did me wrong in this situation. Um, 
nobody protected me. That's what makes me so emotional. Nobody protected me. Even after it happened, I still wasn't protected by my own mama. Like, so that's why. <sighs> okay, so back to it. Um, And as you can see, man, like she said, man, like, these people are supposed to be your true friend, but in a time of need, everybody dipped on you. Everybody got low. Everybody got out of the house. Everybody came together to come up with a lie, to hide evidence, instead of taking care of the person that's in need. That's why, you you know, that word friend, people be throwing that, fr that word around you and, and using it loosely. You know, a, a true friend wouldn't have left you in a situation like this, like I said in the first video. A true friend wouldn't have put you in a situation like this in the first place. And also when this tragedy or this situation happened, they wouldn't have left you, you know, saying down and out to the point where you're about to pass pass away. You know, she's luck like everyone said in the comments in the last video. She's very lucky to be alive. You know, not too many people can say they took a, a gunshot to the head and, and live to talk about it. So they finally called the police an hour later. It takes the police forever to get there because the police is not understanding what's going on. They like, okay, well, you saying that she got gray. So they thinking it's like some bullshit. So when the police officer walk in, he looking at me and he like the way he looked at me, I knew that my face was fucked up bad. Cause he just looked at me, he stopped. And I asked him, I'm like, can you help me? Like, can you help me? So they get me on the ambulance, okay? The man on the ambulance, he asked me, he was like, okay, are you left-handed? Are you right-handed? I could not talk at that point. They instantly put that, you know, the little thing over my mouth. He said, put up what hand you write with. I put up my left hand. They know instantly which is an entry and which is an exit wound. That's why they knew that. So when I put up my left hand, the police, the, the EMT was like, he looked at the police officer. The police officer instantly arrested him because I told him on the spot that he shot me. I, that was my, I'm, I could talk the whole time. I was up talking all of that. I said he Crazy. shot me. They were trying to say that I shot myself. They asked me what hand I write with. I said I, I, I th threw up my hand quick as hell. They arrested him on the spot, took him to jail. Okay. So this is the first picture of me at the hospital. This is probably like, um, I'm going to be honest with y'all. This is probably like, four days of me being in the hospital because I didn't have my phone because she had my phone. I'm going to show a picture of when they came to the hospital as well. And y'all all, all want to know why they were at the hospital. I'm about to explain that. So this is a picture of me. And y'all see how bad I look. I looked really bad. So this is Jessica right here. She covered her face out of it. Um, You know, that was the thing to do back then. If you didn't feel like you liked your face, we was putting emojis over our face. Y'all already know that. So that's Marissa. That's Jerron who shot me. That's um Trill, and that's me in the bed. Um, they came to the hospital. Mind y'all, I was I was fifteen. Um, so I was very forgiven. I'm still very forgiven. That's one of my biggest character flaws. I'm very forgiven. Um, it don't matter what you do to me. I feel like I just let give people so many chances. So um, it. Man, more power to her. Cause it couldn't been me. It was an accident though, but um, when they came to the hospital, I, mean, I get it was an accident. To but check come on, on me, now. but now that I'm grown, I realized that they did. They really were just coming to make sure that I did not die and that I Prime was example, alive I was and it, you know, that I wasn't just being nosy to see if she was alive or not. My mama let them come to the hospital. Let me make that very clear. My mother let them come to the hospital because the story I was saying that, that he shot me from the beginning. They kept saying that I shot myself. My mama believed that I shot myself, okay? She believed it. And um, I don't know why she believed it. I, I cannot answer that. Y'all would have to get on her TikTok and ask her why she believed it. But she believed it um, until my granny and my godmama really was just like, now, come on, Keisha, you know damn well that this girl didn't shoot herself. She was away from home. Do you like, because it didn't make sense. So after she realized that they were playing in her face and she kind of like, you know, did believe me, she made them leave the hospital. So that's how they ended up at the hospital. That was one of y'all biggest questions. That's crazy. So I know I'm going to have to come back with a part three, but I wanted to go ahead and clarify that. So let me show y'all another picture. So I had, um, my nose was broke. Um, I had to get basically all of this bone right here repaired in my nose. I had stents in my nose. Um, I have a, I had a metal plate right here. I just got a surgery done two years ago and they took it out and put a plastic plate here. Um, I have a plate in my jaw. So it broke my jaw bone. It broke this bone here, my cheekbone, my jaw bone, uh, my orbital bone, uh, my nose, uh, like 
it, it I was I was fucked up, y'all. So um yeah. I'm gonna come back and do a part three so I can finish like going over like, you know, the aftermath and how everything pretty much went after this happened to me. But I wanted to go ahead and give y'all a clear story. I said I wasn't going to uh, react to part three, but it's, it, there's, like I said, part three is kind of drawn on. So I'm going to just, just touch on a couple of things. And like I said, y'all, they knew that this was the entry room because as you can see, look how my skin was peeling off. So there was no way. So my mama was saying that she thought that I did it from here because, you know, the bullet hole came out there. So she was like, well, I did it here. No, there was no way I did it here when my face, my skin was burnt off up there. Like, yeah, so, exactly. So, I don't, okay, next. So, this is the exit wound. That's the exit wound. That's where the bullet came out of. It went through my face like a bow and arrow. Um, yeah, so, they wouldn't let me look at myself for a long time. Yeah, I, wouldn't, I wasn't allowed to look at myself. Uh, they had the mirror covered up in the bathroom. The doctors wouldn't let me look at myself. So I didn't know how I looked. I just knew that I was in so much pain. I knew I just, I just, I know I looked terrible, but I was so H-I-G-H. I didn't even care, y'all. I was just happy to be alive, honestly. I was just, and I really, what's so crazy about it was, I was not, I'm going to be honest with y'all, I wasn't happy to be alive. I wasn't, Um, I was very. Which I can imagine. I mean, the PTSD and the PTSD and the trauma behind that. Man, she like I said, she's she's lucky as hell to be alive, and uh, I'm just glad that she was able to make it through and be able to tell, tell her story, share the story with us. Very depressed at the time, and I feel like I didn't understand why. I didn't understand why, like, I went through, like, I felt like I had went through so much and that this was so traumatizing that I was not, at the time, I didn't think I was going to be able to make it past this. Like, I, I was not happy to be alive at all. I'm not going to lie and say, I just tried to lie and say I was, but I wasn't. This was very traumatizing for me. Um, and even at the time, I didn't know, like, you know, how I was going, because I couldn't walk, I couldn't feed myself, I couldn't talk, so I didn't know, like, I was not happy to be alive at all. I'm happy now, but then I was not. So this is uh, the the girl that got shot. This is her text message to her best friend, Jessica. It says, girl, bye. I can't believe you really just said that. Traumatized girl, you still got both your eyes and don't got to get sent off to physical therapy. And you not the one that had to go through the pain of being shot in the side of her head. Uh, stop, please. I don't want to hear it. And the worst part of all is that my best friend who went through all that with me, knowing I'm already hurt, would tell people I shot myself. See, now I that's now I didn't know that. This is the first, first time that I, I knew about that. Based off the text message, her best friend Jessica must have been telling people or maybe the police that she shot herself. Now, this is the first time, and that's... Now this is the first time that I that I've heard of that. And she, as you can see, anyone that's been following, she's never mentioned that, but she did mention it here. It says, "Knowing that my best friend who went through that with me, knowing I'm already hurt, would tell people I shot myself and then keep lying about it, like I don't know what happened to me. That's more painful than a bullet. But I get what you're saying. Just understand that because that's been on my mind heavy. Yo, that's that's crazy as hell. Y'all gonna have to pause it and read this." These are some messages between me and Jessica after everything happened while I was still in the hospital. Um, I said, girl, bye. I can't believe you really just said that traumatized. Because I think she was telling me something about how she was so traumatized and all of this. And I said, you still got both your eyes. I definitely still have both my eyes. At the time, I didn't think I did. Like I said, I was not able to see myself. So she must have asked. Let me see. I, I don't talk to him. The fuck? I don't talk to him. And my question is, why you tell little man that my brother shot you? Cause he did. And little man asked, "What really happened?" He called me after you told him in the. He told me after you told him, and he was like, "You know, she told me and other stuff." And so that don't mean nothing. You said you was gonna keep your mouth shut, and I was so mad that you had the the police asking me and my mom asking if I shot myself. So I just said, "Eff it." So that's crazy. So it, it sounds like this is part of the the the. the part of the story when she was saying that everybody was trying to get their lie together before calling the police. So it sounded like she must have agreed at some point in time of not telling the police of what really happened. And 
later on, she must have finally went on ahead and told the police what really happened. So this is her friend Jessica seems to be upset because she went to the police and told them what happened. That's, that's okay. Next message. So this one says, knowing damn well, I'm on my phone the whole time chilling right next to you. So that's the Jessica girl. She says, no, Nick. She says, no, but you can. She says, no, but you an accessory. And it's just funny to me that people think I don't remember what happened to me. But I got to go because my lawyer telling me to stop texting you. But my story going to be heard. OK, you can let it be heard because I feel you. They they wrong for doing that to you like that. But you cannot say I did anything but sit down. People telling me that you told them that I shot myself. I don't care about that, though. People can say whatever, but my whole thing is you're going to mess around and go to jail, too, when all that had to be said was it was an accident. They was just going to give him nine months probation. Now they adding jail time for lying. I mean, y'all got to y'all got to excuse my y'all got to excuse my reading because these abbreviations and these I don't know. I mean, y'all see what I'm trying to read. So this is me talking to the boy Trill that was in the room at the time. So okay, as so he said, they were wrong. For they were wrong for how they was trying to do me. Correct. So yeah, I mean, I don't know back then, y'all. I don't even know why I was arguing with them. It wasn't even nothing to argue about, really. If we're gonna be free, this is my mama' fault. My mama should have let me talk to the police. She should have let me go to court. Should have let me testify. Should have let me got my closure because that would have been my closure. But like I said, she didn't do any of that. Um, she didn't want to see that boy go to jail, which is so crazy because he's in jail now as we speak. Um, so there you have it. That that pretty much sums up everything. Um. So if you guys want to go back and, and watch the videos yourself, uh, she's on TikTok. I'm going to put her her name, her TikTok name down in the description. I'm also put it up in a video somewhere in the video so you guys can see it because y'all was on my case about, you know, what I'm saying not putting her uh, her TikTok information out there. But like I said before, man, you got to pick and choose who you call your friends. And at, at 15, you, you know, you probably think everybody's your friend. But the whole situation is crazy to me. You know, the mom that was in the house when the whole thing went down, she definitely should have been in trouble. You know, she definitely is uh, a lot to blame because you got underage kids in your house carrying a gun, playing with a gun, and also drinking and popping pills. So, but, uh, man, so we got this. We got this one out of the way. This one's done. Um, like I said, my, my last uh, video that I posted the other day, if you guys have any any videos that you want me or any any videos, whether it's TikTok, Twitter, whatever, if you got any videos that you want me to react to, if you go to the home page of my uh, YouTube page and, and that like in the about section, my email's in there. I'm not gonna say my email because I, I said it in the last video and I just been getting a whole bunch of spam emails. So you wanna send me an email to a story or send me a story, go to my uh the home page on my YouTube, my email is down where my like my social links are. You can send me an email there about any video that you guys want me to react to. You know, as long as it's it's good content, it's a good story behind it, I'll react to it. But uh hit that subscribe button, like this video, share this video on out. Let's keep you know what I'm saying, let's let's build some, you know, I like I like what we're doing here, you know. I wasn't really into the reaction thing but it's, i kind of feel like this is this is my thing because you know what i'm saying I, I like having a conversation that i have with you guys down in the comments we've had some very good comments man and, and i like i said i appreciate that so hit that subscribe button again hit that subscribe button turn on your post notifications leave a comment down below let's have some healthy conversations share the video bring all your friends share the video to everyone that you know and uh, until next time, until the next video, I'll see you in the next one. All right, y'all.